So I just finished my first Relic Stratocaster. How did that go? I was a learning experience for sure. I first sent my classic Vibe 60 Strat off to a refinisher to have him strip the poly and refinish it in nitro, because everyone knows, nitro sounds better. So how much did it cost to get it repainted? About $1800. Didn't you only pay $350 for the guitar? That's beside the point, because now with nitro it has, the tone, pre-CBS vintage tone, woody, resonant tone, John Mayer tone. Let's not go there this time, shall we? Sorry. Force of habit. So you got it back after the repaint. Then what? Next I worked with 12 different types of sandpaper to simulate natural wear patterns in key locations. Then I beat it with chains, gouged it with various knives and screwdrivers, and bounced it across the floor by the whammy bar for good measure. I then buried it in my backyard for two weeks. After that I dug it up, and then buried in my neighbor's yard for another two weeks, because everyone knows that there can be subtle differences in the soil makeup from yard to yard, which will add more complexity to the tone. Oh. Okay. Then what? I paid $1,700 for a set of authentic handmade pickups. I then did the pesky pesky treatment to the plastic hardware to give them that authentic Salvador Dali look. Then I scored a killer deal on eBay for an entire set of authentic Relic Strat hardware that was actually brought up from the wreckage of the Titanic. Only 4500 bucks. There were no Stratocasters on the Titanic, you idiot. That's where the seller on eBay said it was from, and he had documentation to prove it. Granted, the paperwork was filled out in crayon, but that doesn't mean it wasn't authentic. Anyways, after I assembled everything I strung it up with an actual vintage set of Ernie Ball electric guitar strings from the early 17th century that I found on Craigslist for only $200. They didn't even have electricity in the early 17th century. Much less Ernie Ball strings. Once I had it strung up I took it out in the backyard and gave it a good once over with a genuine World War II flamethrower that I bought just for the purpose of relicking this guitar, I got it at an auction for only $5,000. For the final touch I dropped the guitar out of a plane from 15,000 feet. Unfortunately that last step smashed the guitar to bits and the largest piece I could find was the size of a toothpick. So, basically, you have a $13,000 toothpick? It appears that way, yes. You do realize you could have bought an actual Fender Custom Shop Relic Strat for around $4,000? Yes, but then I wouldn't have the deep satisfaction of having done all the work myself. You wouldn't have the MT Bank account either.